Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm John. This is Media True Nerd, and welcome back to Fallout New Vegas. You only live once. Here we are in Dead Money. Last time we got Dean Domino into position as we began setting up these guys to begin the gala event. And today I'm going to pick up Christine next. She's, but mainly because we're going, we'll be going largely the same way as we went with Dean Domino. So as a result, it'll be much easier for us to uh, get her into position. Or at least it'll be easier to get her into the place where she needs to do her work. Actually getting her to finish the work is a lot more complicated. So we've got Christine with us now. Now we just head literally exactly the way we just came at the end of last part. Uh, we just need to uh, head back in there. Because um, I know this is obviously a weak part for you. For me, I basically went straight. Uh, I've done recording this straight after last week's. So I'm hoping, therefore, because it's like, you know, in game time, it's basically only a few minutes later... As a result, I'm kind of hoping that the uh, the enemies will not have respawned in any way and I can retrace my steps exactly where I was. Though I will obviously, uh, obviously I'll kind of interfere and I'll kind of cut forward if anything uh, anything unexpected shows up. Also, I know I've suddenly got like a load more ammo for the polo rifle. I don't know where it came from. Um, I think I must have picked up a stash without actually realising it. Because I, I know I had like very little ammo left and then suddenly I had like loads. So I don't, I don't know where it came from, but uh, yeah, I've suddenly got a stack of ammo and I must have just picked it up from a box at some point and just completely missed it. Or a Dean Domino storage drop or something? I'm really, I'm really not quite sure on that. All's going smoothly so far, but I'm about to reach the area where last time I was here, ghost people just, yes, there you go, they've just arrived again. There's ghost people that just flick it in and out of existence in this area. I'm just going to go past them. I'm going to see if I can just lure them in. I'm just going to move step by step. I'm going to see. I don't know why. They're glitching in and out of existence here. Which is kind of weird. And your skin texture's gone a bit odd too. It kind of looks like she's got a bit of a beard there. The lighting's got a bit of an odd number on her. Uh, interesting. Right, yeah. I'm just going to step forward and try and basically get into hologram territory. Because once I'm in hologram territory... I should be pretty flipping safe, because no matter what spawns in, it, it won't be able to beat the holograms. The holograms will just kill it straight up, because the holograms are amazingly strong. Now, I think we're pretty much there already, aren't we? We're very close. Yeah, this is the area right here. Okay, jump over. And then round here. Onto the pipe, and onto the top. Lovely. That lets us bypass. She just runs straight through the cloud and she does not care. She doesn't... The thing about your companions is they just don't care about the cloud. They will just go into the cloud and it just doesn't affect them at all. Kind of annoying actually that I do all this work to avoid the cloud and she just skips right in. Anyway, this is where we wanted to take her. Thanks to the fact we cleared it out last part. Very fast and easy to get there. And welcome to the switching station. But uh, be aware we have problems in here. Yes, listen before you lose a head, uh, says the uh, says the uh, the warning on the wall, and it's not bloody kidding. Is if we just start stepping through here, we immediately uh, start hitting the uh, yes, uh, your frequency blocking. Unfortunately, this is this is going to be basically the entirety of this part. We're going to be trying to get through here without dying instantly, because obviously I can't show you what this looks like because it's a one-hit kill. Uh, it is a one-hit kill if I get caught up by radio frequency. Now, what do I need to do here? Uh, where's the first one? Door won't open if there's any power running through it. And Christine's doing some pointing. Oh, is it this bit you need me to do first? It's the electrical box, isn't it? Yeah, electrical box with a uh, repair of 60. Yep, I can repair that. So, okay, so we've got the electricals running, up and running here. Excellent. And we've got... The thing that we've got is we've got to get Christine to the elevator in the manual override chamber. We're about to enter a very long area. So let me show you on the map there. So obviously that's the distance between the door and where I am, and that's where we need to get her. It's a long way, and it's not even a straight line. There's like all sorts of running about um, things. The radio signals will kill me. I think it's about 20 seconds after the first Christine is interfering thing. So I think you get, you get five seconds of uh, respite with her. Then 10 seconds of normal beeping, but she gets it up to 15. So I think that gives me 20 seconds. 
before, after that appears on screen, till I die. By the way, that was why I didn't bother mentioning my hit points at the beginning of this part. It's uh, up to 224 out of 495 at the moment, but that barely even matters. Because this part, I'm not going to be fighting anything that does damage to me. It's either I die instantly to the radios, or I don't die at all. Um, so that's fun. So, I've memorised this as best I can. These first ones are not too bad. I'm going to run down a corridor. There's a safe space on a stairwell about two-thirds of the way down this corridor. So that is where we're starting. So we're just going to run. Yep, and that's the dead end there. And now there's... And then there's a safe spot somewhere around here. Here we are. Collar has stopped beeping, but it's a really difficult... Yes, yeah, stop beeping. Hang on, hang on. Where is it? It's really awkward. Is it this step right here? Yes. It's it's really, like, two steps down, you're in the trouble. Uh, two steps up, you're in trouble. But here, very small safe spot. I've got to assume it's intentional, because I don't think you can actually make it to the next one. The nice thing here is, obviously, that up there is an unshielded radio. So with that dead, we've now taken out radio number one. And now it's safe to walk through this space again. But obviously, you just need to find the right spaces. Then we've got, oh, we've got another one here. Uh, this next one, we're going to go into a very big room just around the corner. I'm going to run to my right because on the platform to my right and back of it, there's another safe spot, okay? So, let's go. Gun away, by the way, obviously. And she's blocking the signal for a moment. Round here. And back here. Your collar has stopped beeping. There we are. We're in safe space right now. Where's the radio that's making that one? Where's the radio that makes that one? Can I take out the radio? I cannot see it. No, I don't think so. I can't see one over here. Now, you'll probably notice that this, <laughs> this is where Ted Money just starts getting unfair and evil, quite frankly. So what we've got right now is you'll notice that obviously we've got a room with a radio, a radio broadcast in it. So if you kind of, you can get, oh, okay, there it is. I see it over there. I see it over there, but unfortunately, that is a shielded one. Uh, I think you can get really lucky with, like, a grenade, but it's, like, really difficult to do and it's not reliable. So, aside from the radio signal, we've also got a room that's full of the cloud here. Um, the stairs lead directly into the cloud. What I have to do is, basically, I need to take a running jump off this staircase and land on that pipe right there. Because I need to make it to the other side of this room. There's no way across. All the ways across are supposed to, like fallen apart over time or something. So running jump from here on pipe and land on it. It's not the easiest jump in the world. If I miss it, I've landed in the cloud. And while I can get back over to this staircase for another go, I'll lose, what is it? I think it's 40 hit points per second in the cloud. I don't have Dean Domino with me. That means I'll probably take, I don't know, 120 to 200 hit points damage, which obviously, as you're aware, I'm only on 224. I could lose 80% of my life right here, right now. So that means this has to go pretty much perfectly. I mean, it's not a difficult jump, but under the pressure, it becomes slightly terrifying. Um, yeah, okay. And I don't also know when the radio signal kicks back in. I'm guessing pretty, I'm guessing when I land on it, it might well do. Okay, I've had a nice cup of tea. Okay, three, two, one, go, 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 go. Is that cloud? Is that cloud? Is that cloud? Was that? Oh, I thought we were in the cloud for a second. Are we? No. No, we have not lost a hit point there. Okay, it was just a cloud effect. We weren't actually in the cloud. Now, here's the small problem here. Here's the small problem here. Just because I've made it onto that pipe, that's only half the business, unfortunately. And by the way, um, I think Christine's down in the cloud and obviously doesn't, doesn't, she doesn't care. She just doesn't care. Um, I need to jump down to the cloud to get to that staircase over there. That's unavoidable cloud. Because, ooh, is it? I think it is. I think there's no way to avoid the cloud. There's a very small window of cloud between me and there. So I can't really avoid taking damage. GRX implant is my best bet. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go over to the GRX implant for a slowdown temporarily. And I'm going to run for those stairs. So like we discussed last time, it's over here in implant GRX and aid. We activate. And now we are in slow-mo. Get out of the cloud, get out of the cloud, get out of the cloud, get out of the cloud cloud and okay how was that we didn't take damage officially we did i mean um because according to the games in health counter i'm at 
full health. Because uh, obviously, just a reminder, obviously, I keep a true health counter because the game heals you way too... Oh, 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 wait, hang on, hang on, hang on. Let's not get too, let's not get too ahead of ourselves. Yeah, um, somebody mentioned to me that they've been doing some testing. L luckily, people on the subreddit have been really been helping me out with planning dead money because otherwise it's just ludicrously difficult. Uh, and some people have been saying to me that obviously they have testing it and they said on some occasions, if you use GRX implant... The way time slows down, it actually seems to mess up the cloud giving you damage. So I may be able to get through certain bits of the cloud um, without... Wait, what? Really? Why, why, why? Why did five GRX... Oh, I think I just regenerated one of them. Fine. Um, yeah, sometimes you can get through clouds without getting any damage thanks to the, um, the turbo effect there. So I need to remember that. Even though I don't have Dean Domino, I've pretty much, hopefully, just defeated the cloud using that. Now, next, I need to get around to this station over here. Uh, yeah, that's the next step on the list. That's next on the list of things to do, all right? Now, what is, when does this begin? Okay, it's beginning, it's beginning, it's beginning, it's beginning, it's beginning. Just go, just go, just go, just go, just go, just go, just go. There's all sorts of traps here, but it doesn't affect me in the slightest. Yep, locked, easy. Now I can just use, find this. Oh, dud removed, lovely, always good. Okay, hacked that, and now we can turn the speakers off. Lovely. And obviously there is, uh, there's traps in here, but uh, thanks to the fact that I have light step, do not need to worry about it. Uh, yeah, there's, there's a real problem in this room, which is obviously you desperately need to sprint in here to turn that off before the radio uh, kills you. But there's also a, where is it? There's a grenade bouquet in here somewhere. Uh, the tripwire, I'm pretty sure it activates a grenade bouquet somewhere that scatters grenades through this room. So th th that's just this game being an utter, utter troll. Ooh, Dean's Electronics, that's always nice. Oh, plus some red dynamite there. Some red dynamite. First dynamite I think I've seen in this. Where is it? I swear there's flipping the grenade bouquet. Some I don't know where it is. Never mind. I've got plenty of grenades. Repair increased by four of that Dean's Electronics. That's good. All right. This room is now cleared. That is good. And we haven't died yet, which is even better. And we can now head on our merry way through. And is this the final section? No. Okay. This is this is uh, not just yet anyway. Oh, hello. Was that red on... Red? There's no enemies in here. The heck is red in here? Oh, there's a turret in here. I'd forgotten there were turrets in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Leave the, leave the beeping, leave the beeping. Okay, we can take out that turret from here. That's fine. So, first things first, though. Ooh, automatic rifle. Oh, oh, armor-piercing rounds. Okay. Well, I'll take that. I don't need it yet, but I will very gladly take that. We've got a very hard locked here thing. Uh, you'll find a key for this later on, but I may as well uh, just open it now, quite frankly. Oh, I've been very lucky. It's ridiculously close to the neutral position. There we are. Nice and easy. And that gives me a password that I will be needing very soon. Also, the ventilation system can be activated. Activate the ventilation system. So you hear a loud noise coming from the room to the west. Sounds like the ventilation systems are firing up, clearing the cloud out of the switching station basement and sections of the streets. So this whole area is becoming safer and safer for us, which is good. Next, we need to take out this uh, this turret here. Now, though it's technically not perfect, I'm going to use the police pistol because it's the only weapon I've got effectively infinite ammo for because I can trade caps for this sort of ammo. Okay, how much damage are we going to do? Oh! Sneak attack... I forget how ridiculously overpowered my character is when it comes to sneak attack criticals. Right, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. So let's just check here. We've got... Okay, that's a shielded radio over there. Nothing I can do about that. Then we've got... Yes, back off. I just need to figure out what's going on in this room. Just to remind myself how it all works. Shielded radio. Not going to be able to do anything about that. I just need to figure out whether... Oh, it's over here, isn't it? Yeah, okay, I'm pretty sure it's in that room just over that side there. Yeah, I just need to gun away, gun away, gun away, gun away. There'll be a safe spot over here anyway. And this should be safe. Lovely. Now, I can use this terminal to disengage the disengage the lock. It wasn't really what I wanted to do, but never mind. Ah, this terminal instead. Sorry, my mistake. Turn speakers off. Beautiful. Speakers... I hate speakers, but they can at least be turned off nice and easily. Oh, sorry, that was the terminal to unlock this door if you'd come in the other way. So now there's nothing... Okay, so now there's no there's no danger in here. We've turned off the speakers. There's no more... No, there's no more anything else. Good. Right, okay, we're in good shape in that case. Uh, just 
hop over this gap. I don't even need to. Ooh. Do I need to hop over this gap? Can I? Ooh. Hang on. Which is the right way? Which is the right way? I actually feel like going through here is the easiest way. Sorry. Just loop back around the top here. Yeah, this has got to be the easiest way. Just kind of go around this complete path. Let's not jump on anything, shall we? I'm pretty sure we should be pretty close to the station here. This is the key, by the way, to the locker in case you don't have the skill to use it. And then this round here is where we're actually trying to go. Here we are, the switching station. So we've got a elevator that uh, leads down into the switching station itself. So you can tell her that she's required to go down to the manual bypass room to regulate the power. But unfortunately, she shakes her head, having been trapped inside that auto dock for however long it was. She is not willing to, uh, yeah, she's not willing to go into it. She suffers from severe claustrophobia. So fortunately, you can tell her, all right, let me see if I can find another way to do this without sending you down there. And she looks much happier about that. And thankfully, with this remote maintenance terminal, I can transfer control to this station because I've already picked up the password earlier. That was what was in uh, that was what was in the uh, that password that I picked up earlier. So now she doesn't need to go into the elevator. Poor Christine can be absolutely fine. So let's have a chat. Well, talk to her is such a such a questionable way of phrasing things. I found a way for you to do the bypass from here. You should be able to just use the terminal over there. And Christine nods gratefully. Excellent. She looks much happier about that. You're going to be okay here. Yep. Gestures at your hand offers hers. Let's take her hand. She holds it, meeting eyes intently for a few moments, gives your hands a gentle squeeze, releases it, and smiles slightly. We are going to get through this, Christine. And that gets me, uh, yep, the mixed signal quest, some karma. I've lost her perk, unfortunately. But at this stage, I think I've already turned off all of the, uh, all of the alarms I'm going to be passing on the way back. So we should be in good shape already. She settles down here. Absolutely fine. And for once, we've got a character in Fallout who sat down next to a computer and tried to start typing on it, who isn't, in fact, typing at a broken, old, burnt-out computer, as, you know, like uh, Boyd and lots of other characters in, uh, in New Vegas do. It, it muses me no end. How many characters in New Vegas sit down in front of broken computers and just start pretending to type on them? It's lovely. I'd love to think, actually, the, the developers spotted that, but left it anyway because it's just such a cute touch. But uh, fortunately, uh, even though we don't have Christine anymore, we don't need to worry about that because... Oh, wait, how do we get back out? Wait, hang on. How do we get back through this room? Oh, this, is, this isn't all sunshines and happiness. Um, oh, flip. Oh, wait, no, oh, thank goodness we drained, of course, we drained the poison cloud already. That's what the ventilation system was for. So, and by the way, if you just try and run through the poisoned cloud at the bottom, you decide to just accept it, you've got tons of, uh, you've got tons of health or whatever. Yeah, the game just sets up these four bloody bear traps at the bottom, because this game, this particular DLC at least, is a massive troll. Massive troll. So yeah, you will basically break both your legs trying to just run through the cloud. Because obviously taking 40 hit points damage per second isn't bad enough. The game also has to flipping break your flipping gosh darn... Oh, 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 yes, okay. That worried me for a second. Um, okay, good, good, good. Right, we've made it. We've made it past there. And I think we've got another one in here, but we should be all right. Actually, I'm not sure where that other one is. I don't know where the one that causes this, the beeping here, actually is. Ah... Uh... Where is it? Oh, okay, there's one I could shoot up there, but there's no point. Yeah, 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 let's just get out. Let's get out, get out. No point in taking out that one. Actually, it's an easy 10 experience points, isn't it? Yeah, let's just quickly do that then. There we go. Now, that done, I just need to find my way back to the center. And again, that should be pretty easy because I'm pretty sure I've already taken out all of the, uh, all the enemies that should be in the way. Because I can basically go the exact same route as I went last time. So unless anything unusual kind of pops up, I will just meet you back at the fountain. And you'll hopefully note that uh, some of the areas that were previously uh, not looking great, so this area was full of cloud a second ago, we have now kind of, uh, we've now cleared that area out. So we're now in much better shape than we were a minute ago. Ah, and this time we've actually found our way into the little service tunnel which is a very cool little area. Uh, this is basically a shortcut back to the fountain, but it's also got some good loot in it. Probably most cool, you've got construction hats here. I don't think those are exclusive to Dead Money. I think you can find them in the main game. I think this is the same thing that, um, well, what's his name? The chap in Sloan is wearing, uh, but it's, it's still nice to have. Only damage threshold two, but fun little idea. I could wear that at the same time as the rebreather. 
So, Sarah Helmet's only four. I think I... Mm, should I... Yeah, actually. I think I should be willing to sacrifice two damage threshold for three percent damage resistance. I think that's actually a decent trade. Plus, it kind of looks weird and cool. So I also picked up Demolition Charges for the Vending Machines, which is very, very powerful indeed. So that is very good from that little terminal there. So you'll see the uh, the Demolition Charges there. So I'm going to take a few, because obviously you know there's nothing I love more in the world than Fragmites. I can pick up a few more later if I need to. Basically, Demolition Charges are just identical to Fragmites. They're actually very slightly different, which is kind of interesting. So Fragmines are deemed to have damage 102, uh, to DPS 50. Demolition charges seem to have DPS 50, but damage 103, I don't know why that is. Uh, you'll also notice in terms of actual sheer kind of caps value, demolition charges are slightly higher. But fun fact, if you drop a demolition charge and pick it back up again, it will just become a frag mine, uh, which is kind of interesting. Though actually, before I leave this area for good, there's a few things I should go and pick up. I know, obviously, I have been reading the comments. I know there's a few things that I've missed in this area, because this is pretty much the uh, the last time I need to come to the west of, uh, of the town of the villa. I now pretty much have to do everything that's just in the east and the north. So this will probably be the last time I come to this half. So I need to kind of swing back and collect a few things I've missed. And I apologise um, for the fact I've been missing things. Dead money is just, it's a test of memory. It's a test of memory where you just have to remember everything. And it's incredibly easy to just forget the odd thing. So I do apologise. I'm going to swing by and I'm going to pick up a couple of things that you've all pointed out that I've missed over the last couple of parts before I leave this area for good. So here's something interesting. Uh, this is the area with the glitching ghost people, of course, where there may or may not be two ghost people who glitched in and out last time. But now there's a security hologram. So I'm actually feeling like... This could be a really good spot for me to just go straight through and just run for that hole and let the security... Yeah, let's do it. Let's just do this. They probably will pop. Yes, they are. But I'm just going to hide in here. I totally saw that. Danger. But the uh, the security hologram will now deal with them. There's explosions. Uh, someone tried to throw a bomb at me, but luckily I'm... Yeah, I'm, I'm nice and hidden up here. Beautiful. Yep, definitely didn't just take damage there. Holograms dealt with at least one of them. And who else is it? Well, I'm still in caution. What's the hologram doing? It's hologram. Oh, the hologram's wandered off to go and find someone else. Who's the hologram looking for? And, oh, a seeker. A seeker is indeed dead. Um, st still in caution, though. Why am I still in caution? Oh, there's flipping more of them. What on? Oh, blimey. I'm feeling, I'm feeling like I shouldn't have come back. Well, okay. That was definitely an actual enemy. That was definitely an actual enemy there. Okay. Let's just back off. Let him come to me. The hologram can take care of him. You know what? This isn't worth the risk. I'm going to back out. I'm going to use the um, the tunnel shortcut I opened last time. I can use that to skip forward to the most important bits and pieces. Because I don't need everything. Okay, so this has brought me back to where I had the, the major scrap last time. And now I can go up into the cafe, which is part one of where I want to go. Ah, and while this guy's here, uh, someone has reminded me, of course, uh, there's not much point in me taking the assassin armor out. Instead, I should just swap it for pre-war money because the assassin armor is quite heavy. So I'm going to swap the assassin suit for pre-war money. Okay, so I've done that trade. So I've got rid of the assassin suit for like 230 pre-war monies, which is uh, strikes me as a pretty good deal. Now, remember this door I accidentally went out of in a bit of comic ineptitude. Uh, was it last time? Yes, it was last time. Um, and then I decided to go I had to go to this door uh, as well. This may have been the wrong door to storm the holograms, but this is a very important door anyway. And that's because this door I can follow round and I can find my way onto the central tower from here. And that is actually incredibly important because the central tower has something, well, not spectacularly good, but something... Oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Red. Lots of red. Red fast moving enough that that cannot be rad roaches. Hang on. Hopefully, whatever that is, we can just sneak past it. Yeah, you can see that we've got... Yeah, you can see that we've got this scaffolding here that we can get up to. And we can just climb up the scaffolding and... Drain microfusions. I think there's some actual... Uh, I think there's some actual ammo up here. But way more importantly, 
we have the, uh, yeah, it's one of the mods for my hollow rifle. Not the best one, that's the reduced spread. But reduced spread's good because you've probably noticed I have actually missed a couple of shots with the hollow rifle when it looked like I had a really, you know, perfect spot on shot. And that's entirely because, uh, that's entirely because, uh, yeah, there's a slight spread on the gun. It's not the most accurate weapon in the world, but it will be. That mod can't be automatically applied now. Instead, what I have to do is, what is that down there? Instead, what I have to do is I have to take that back to a vending machine. I have to buy it like I would uh, like I would anything else in the game. So that is what I'm going to do next time I find a vending machine. But for the moment, I don't need to worry about that. Speaking of ammo, I'm now back on the uh, the balcony, you may recall from last time, where over there I picked up some ammo excitedly and completely missed the ammo that was literally in front of me. Drained microfusion, drained microfusion. Okay, fine. Uh, is any of this? No. That's four drained microfusions. Is there anything actually useful here? Come on, that's... I can I can see that looks like a... Am I going to pick that one up? Okay, I can't pick that one up for some reason. Okay, fine. All of you in the comments who are just like, John, John, there's ammo right in front of you. Yeah, congratulations. You've sent me back here for four drained microfusion cells. So one more uh, one more ammo for this thing. Though I, I shouldn't complain. One more ammo for this thing could be bloody crucial uh, when the time comes. Now, the question is, I also missed, um, particularly annoyingly, the mod... Uh, the mod for the automatic rifle, which lives up there, you can uh, where uh, Dean Domino actually is. The question is, I'm not 100% sure how you get up there. I'm actually not. It's not the ruined cafe, because for some reason I can't. I can't. Even though I feel like I really should very easily be able to get through this, even when I'm crouching, I feel like I can't get through here to get to the rest of that balcony. I can't just. Oh no, I can't. Oh blimey. Do not go into the, uh, don't go into the cloud. And the cloud goes right up to, yeah, I can't bypass the cloud that way. So I want to get through that door, but I don't know, I'm not sure quite what that door is. That's the old shop, isn't it? Hang on, can I find my way around to whatever that is? Ah, on my way to look for that, I found a vending machine, that's useful. So, more importantly than anything else... I can now buy for 125 caps the mod for my holo rifle. So I'm totally going to only need one thank you. One mod. Lovely. So now I apply it like any normal weapon. Holo rifle mod advanced calibration. Decreases spread. So now my holo rifle can, uh, yeah, I can basically nail enemies much more precisely. Oh wait, I remember how this goes now. I just remembered how this goes. So I need to get up here and then jump through that tree to that hole over there. Uh, okay, fine. I know how to do that. I just need to loop around here. This is the hexagon area that we were at very in the middle. And then I can just loop around here, up the stairs, to the top, drop down onto the roof, go around the balcony, hop over the tree, into the hole. That's a shop. And then I can use that shop to get through to the area I originally wanted to get. Bloody hell, dead money. Dead money is such a pain for navigation. Ugh. So yes, we can go this way. What was that? Never mind, I think I thought I heard something. I'm hearing things now. I'm slowly going mad with hearing balls. You know what I'm doing? I'm rushing. I'm rushing because I want to just finish clearing out this area and getting all the loot and I should not rush. There is no part of dead money that it's safe to rush. I need to be, I need to be more careful. Oh, there's some shotgun ammo on top of there too. Didn't know that. Now I think most of this is just decorative. Most of these branches. So I can just jump over to here and then straight into here. Beautiful. Lovely. So I can use that to get into the ruined store. Perfect. In fact, now I think about it, if this is where I think I am, then actually this might have been a better... This might have been a better uh, route than I went in the first place. Because I could have just fought this first battle and then used this to skip right to the other hologram. So yeah, from that door I just came through to, there's this upstairs room. You can loot downstairs. But if I'm about to appear where I think I'm about to appear, then the route I took last part was officially stupid and you should probably stop listening to me and just anything I say because I'm clearly terrible at route planning. Yes, here we are. Okay, so remember when last time I said when I was about to come out of the cafe and I had my plan to run for the, um, the hologram? This was where I thought I was going to come out, not where I did. I thought I was going to come out somewhere completely unrelated. Um... So, you know, clearly I'm just not very good at Fallout New Vegas over here. Yeah, I thought I was going to come out there, run across here, hit this computer for the hologram, and that was going to be, that was going to be what I was going to do. So, yeah, go me. I'm extremely clever. 
And obviously there it is, the thing I missed, the upgraded internals for the automatic rifle. That's um, increased firing speed and thus increased DPS. So uh, again, pretty damn important. Now with those two, I can now head pretty much back to the opening area. I think we're now pretty, we're pretty safe in that regard. Though something I've got very used to is that ghost people in certain positions love just flinging themselves about even long after they're dead. So that startled me the first time. Now I've got used to it, so now it's fine. Okay, now that other thing that I just picked up, the other upgrade. The automatic rifle uh, internal mods. So that costs, ooh, 250. Blimey, you're really eating into my chips here. But okay, fine, we'll get that. It is useful. So we'll get that. Go over to my rifle that only has 20 bullets. Um, so before this point, this was damage 42, DPS 262. Damage 42, of course, but now DPS up to 316. You cannot deny that is going to help out a bit. Now, just one more I need to swing back to. We're probably, uh, as you can tell from the colour scheme, we're back in the villa itself. This one I was flipping, kicking myself that I completely forgot about. And, like, there was no, there's, no, there's no tactics or strategy here. This was just me. I forgot. I straight up forgot about this. I have to nip back to the police station because I forgot one of the most important flipping tapes in, the entire, in this entire DLC. Which is just embarrassing, quite frankly. So here we are back in the police station, and if we go round into the rooms at the side, we will find in the toilets at the end the vending machine code for .308 rifle rounds. Yeah, so that's uh, basically I can now buy, uh, now I can just buy ammo for the automatic rifle, which is hugely important because none of the ghost people have any damage threshold, and the automatic rifle has a DPS of now 316. So it's incredibly powerful all of a sudden. That's super useful. And one more, this average uh, locked locker that I uh, forgot to open also has some plastic explosives, uh, C4. So obviously damage 253. I don't know if it's that useful, but it's incredibly strong. So on the off chance that I happen to need it, I will take that. I was just a bit distracted here because I wanted to kind of get on the armour and try out the armour. So I forgot to flipping loot all the rest of them, which is why I missed some ammo and some C4. Now that, I think, is all the crucial items that I forgot about. I think that's all of them. And the reason I wanted to go kind of out of my way a little bit there just to pick up some important stuff that I'd forgotten is because now obviously we've only got uh, one person left to put into position. And that's uh, Dog God who takes me to the other side of the map, the one I haven't been to yet. So we're going to have fights on our hands in the same way as we had when we uh, when we very first went to the west with Dean Domino uh, last part. That's going to happen again. But this time I want to be better armed because I was just lucky. I was just lucky that I was missed by all those throwing spears. So I, I can't have that happen again. Now, obviously, with my new upgrade for the .308 rifle rounds, I can now spend uh, 60 caps in order to uh, buy basically a full clip. Uh, 20, 20 bullets is a full clip in the automatic rifle. Just uh, squeeze a couple more chips out by returning everything I've got, but I don't have too much. Now, how much do I want to buy here? The thing is, I want to I wanna keep a few back, because actually, no, there's not... I'll keep a few back just in case I need some sort of emergency. I don't think I should be all right. So there we are. That's 120 rounds. So this now, yeah, this weapon has over 300 DPS and I've got over 140 bullets in it. Now, for flipping dead money, we're, that's, that's good shape. That is good shape. Now, God, you're coming with me. Now, I'm going to have... God rather than dog, because I don't particularly want dog to be doing any of the fighting anyway. I don't know whether I gain any advantage from God rather than dog in terms of my stealth, because my stealth's 100 and I already have light step, but just on the off chance, I'm going to go with uh, God anyway, because I may as well. I may as well, really, so there's not there's not much point in not doing so. So we're swinging around this side. We've already been kind of most of the way around here. I think we've already cleared out the ghost people in this area. I'm really not sure whether ghost people actually even respawn at all, ever. Oh, actually, while I'm on the way, workbench here, isn't there? Yeah, let's just get a tiny bit more hollow rifle ammo. So, recycling. I can get three cells out of that. Lovely. So, that brings me up to four and 22 in reserve for the hollow rifle. 
2 and 75 spare for the caravan shotgun and 20 and 120 spare for the automatic rifle. I think we are in much better shape as a consequence of all of that. I think we're in much better shape indeed. So there's the door. And there's the... Oh! Harvester over there. Which is fine, because now I can show you my newly upgraded hollow rifle that's now going to be able to hit this thing much more guaranteed. So yeah, now it's pretty much a guaranteed hit. That that would have had a chance to miss under the old hollow rifle rules. It just wouldn't have uh, hit. It's just, yeah, it's just reduced the spread. It's a good thing. And as I haven't gone into caution, I can't see more red. I may as well go and loot down in that area. Um, one thing you probably need to be aware of that I need to be pretty careful of is, um, yes, I'm halfway to level 35. When I hit level 35, the way enemies work in this DLC, like they work in a great, uh, in a, actually a very large amount of, uh, of dead money, is enemies will scale with you. But they don't scale with you like level by level, they scale by you in increments. When I hit level 35, the enemies that start spawning in will move up to their next increments. Right now, they are easier than they would be. They are going to get harder. So I kind of don't want to level up at this point, because the enemies are going to be much harder to deal with. Now, is there going to be anything good in... Oh good, he was guarding an empty box. I'm so thrilled. Is there really nothing else here? Did I just do that for five... Five, ca five caps isn't even flipping worth the hollow rifle ammo. Oh, well, that was a bad decision there. Oh, there was a trap, was there? Okay, not only that, but there was a trap. I didn't... Did you trigger that? Bloody idiot. You're supposed to be the smart one. Okay, here we are, Sleater del Sol. Now, number of enemies in this uh, lovely purple coloured area. I'm not sure why the sky obviously changes colour when you go through a door. Red there to purple here to yellow on the other side. Um, but, uh, it, but it does. Total number of enemies in this area? Something in the range of 12, I would say. I would say it's in the range of 12. Uh, maybe a little bit higher, maybe more like 14. I just saw an enemy there. And, oh yeah, there's, there's red on the map. There is red on the map. Good, good. And number one. Okay. And what have you got? You have... Okay, good, 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 good. Dog has dealt with you. Dog has dealt with you. What have we got? Was that another... No. Okay. That was fine. Another enemy incoming. Possibly on the... That's going to be closer to me. He's going to be... How close are you? Pretty close. Pretty close. Right, I'm going over to automatic rifle for him. That's a seeker. We've got seekers and they're going to have flipping gas bombs, which is a concern. Can I skip? I might want to get up to higher ground here. Yeah. Get to higher ground. At least they can't charge me. And they have a better chance of missing with their gas bombs if you're up high because they can hit the bottom of the lid. And the splash damage on gas bombs is not huge. I'm going to be honest, this area I know less well than some of the other areas in Dead Money. I do not know this area anywhere near as well as some of the other areas. I've only done this a couple of times. The last thing I want is to have one directly beneath me where I can't shoot at it. That would be probably the worst case scenario. Let's just keep on... Oh, blimey. Yes, hello. Okay, good. Well, welcome to the DPS of the new automatic rifle. Welcome to the DPS of the new automatic rifle. That thing is going to save my skin on occasions. Uh, I should show you the map, by the way, just so you know where we are. So we came in here. This was that first courtyard. Uh, there is obviously a long way around here, but I have kind of stepped uh, up and around to go the high route to this room that we're going to there. That's kind of what I want to do. I think I can, yeah, that was this. That was the useless area that's connected to the main area. So I'm now here and I'm going to try and just make my way south as far as I can. I don't know with what level of success I can do that. Oh, there's a harvester. Uh, am I going to get a lucky shot with the hollow rifle with you? Yes, I am. Good. Nice disintegration there. Not in caution. Yep, okay. The one advantage my character has. My character is a beast when it comes to flipping uh, sneak attack criticals. Now with him dead, the main approach... Yeah, that's the starting plaza. The main approach is now clear. Got one of... Is this Dean Domino's stash or is this a generic... That's just a generic suitcase. That's disappointing. Oh, oh, hello! Hello! 
Hello, okay, um, stay out of the way, stay out of the way, stay out of the way, uh, automatic rifle. And he decided to go for God, um, blimey, what, where, where's he gone? Oh, blimey, hell. There we go, God, sorry, I think I just shot you, man. Uh, we're still in caution, I just wasted a lot of ammo on you. Uh, gas bomb, right, he went for the gas bomb with the other guy. Uh, we just need to, if there's another guy, we need to be hitting him. Oh, he knows I'm there. Oh, blimey. Oh, that was close. That was damn close. Um, let him throw. Let him throw. Let him throw. Let him throw. Oh, God damn. God damn it. Very literally, he's in the way. Um, you. You just need a... Head, headshots don't work as a pick, particularly effectively, so do not prioritise the head. Just... Did God just step in the way? Okay, God. God got him. God got him. God got him. Okay. Okay. Back to... Blimey, how close was that spear? Okay, two down, two down. I've only got, I'm down to 79 spare bullets already, which is a concern, because I want, yeah, I want more than that, really. Right, this staircase brings us up to the top of the next section. That brings us up to the top of the next section. Cloud there, that's fine. Don't need to worry about that just yet. And this brings us to, ooh, wait, I might need to worry about that, though. This is, what's this area? Ah, that's a Dean Domino stash right there. Perfect. Bobby pins and just micro fusion cells. Beautiful. Uh, stim packs, which I can sell later. Rad away, but obviously nothing desperately useful to me. I mean, the micro fusion cells are great, but other than that, that's not a great, um, not a great draw. Again, no stealth boy, but I was very unlikely to get that. Thank you to the people, by the way, who were discussing probability in the comments for how likely it is to actually get a draw. Of a, of a Dean Domino stash with a stealth point. That that amused me. Uh, no end, the fact that people were discussing that. Alright, well, there's nothing further up here. So drop down. So I'm not going that way. That's cloud. And... Can I go around this way? Or is this... That's also cloud. Right, I can't go either of those ways. Fine. I've got a staircase up here. That leads me to a room with a computer. Computer is always a good sign. There might be... Is there a chance to get a... Uh... Oh, hello. There's a... Is that a gas leak? That could be a... Oh, yeah, we got a gas leak in here. Be really careful in here. Turn speakers off. Beautiful. That's pretty much what I wanted to do. Turning the speakers off will make my life much more interesting. Now, very worried, because obviously I can see this red up ahead here. But I can also see the damn gas leak. Can I fix this in any way? No, doesn't look like it. I'm just gonna... <sighs> no, not not worth the risk. Not worth the flipping risk. Not not yet, anyway. Right, I'm gonna loop back to where I was upstairs to see if I can find a better way around that doesn't involve... that doesn't involve going through that. Because I've got... I've got this nice way through here. This seems like a good thing. In fact, yeah, I remember this room. There's some stuff I can grab in here. Uh, risk the light being on, cigarettes, gun cabinet. Yeah, okay. Tiny bit of that. T automatic rifle. Uh, worth grabbing the automatic rifle? Uh, sure, why not? I can I can merge it with mine for some extra stuff later. Ah, energy cells. Energy cells, obviously, I can convert to microfusion cells. So they are worth having just for that reason. Okay, so when we ran into that uh, gas cloud, we were, like, in this area. We've now returned up here and we're now heading south. So I feel like this is potentially a better angle of approach. Is this a dead end? Oh, flip, is this a dead end? Does this not go anywhere? Oh, I thought there was a way through here. Gosh darn it, if there's not, there's not, is there? Right. Hang on, why are we in caution? Why? Hang on, dog, back off. Wait, God, sorry, sorry. Back off, we're in caution. I really don't want to be. You're also, your creeping animation is not particularly good. Just don't, don't, just, just creep, please. You're worrying me. Okay, if that way's a dead end, then I have to go this way. That way's a definite no-go. That's cloud. There, there has to be a way through here that doesn't involve the cloud. Or at least, well, it doesn't have to be. There are, there are indeed ways through this, uh, there are times in this game when cloud is inevitable, like I had with, uh, with Thing earlier, but... Hang, hang on, hang on, hang on. God, back off, back off, back off for just a second, please. Back off for just a second. Just 
Sprinted into the air. Well, bloody done. I'm going to burn out that gas leak. Um, I'm going to see... I think that's how gas works. If you, if you, if it fires once, you're safe. So, police pistol as far back as I can get. And... Didn't detonate. Okay. Come on. You know you want to. I'm... That didn't work. Right, I thought that's how that worked. Well, I've got all this dynamite I'm not using for anything else, so in it goes. There we are. Oh, I also got a sneak attack critical of some description. That's weird. Why did that happen? And why am I deeply worried by the fact it did? Where was the, the trapper in question? Can, it, can he get up to me? Oh, bloody hell, they're running. Whatever they are, they are running about. Okay, be... God, be ca... Where is he? Is he come? Is he clever enough to have found his way around to where we are? God, do not... God, no, 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 no. God, please. Please do not go and pick... Oh, gosh darn it. Do not, do not, do not... Oh, for... He's a seeker. Okay. Now, hang on, just, just... Oh, he's... Go no, 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 no! Oof, blimey, was he hit? I wasn't hit. He's hit... How... God is hurting. If God dies, that's me in trouble too. Um, right, okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. I've got no good shots at him. Okay, aside from just normal manual aiming. Right, finish, just finish him off. Vats, 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 vats. Do not miss right now. Do not miss. Okay, he's down, he's down, he's down. God, back, back off, man. Back off, okay? We're not, we're not, we're not doing any more. Please do not fight. Please. Oh, God. I need to put him into pacifist mode now. God. Right. I've just put him into passive mode. Just put him into passive. God, no. Don't. No. Gosh. Darn it. Okay. He's a trapper. He's a trapper. And he's holding still for a minute, which is good. There we go. He's dead. God. Okay. I'm putting. I'm going to tell him to hold still. I'm going to tell God to hold still up here. If he's willing to come up here with me, I'm just going to tell him, hold position. God is really making this difficult for me today. Right, though admittedly he's not done bad. He's he's actually done me alright in so far as... Okay, is that... Yeah, the gas leak's done. We're not in gas leak territory anymore. That's good. Now, the question is, is there anything left down here? Can't see any red on the map, but I'm still in caution. So now I don't know where I've been spotted up in Ox. I'm in a mysteriously permanent state of caution. That's another flipping gas leak, isn't it? I was not using this dynamite for anything anyway. So that's all right. There we go. That's another gas leak taken care of. I just don't want it there on the wrist, but it, I, I'm the one that triggers it. As long as I can take them out, one at a time, we're okay. One at a time is alright. One at a time is fine, in fact. Was that... Wait, is this... Um, am I upstairs from where I was? Where am I right now? Oh, blimey, I've just run into a ghost seeker I wasn't expecting to see. Um... Oh. Flip. Oh, good. And I've missed with one of my shots, too. Um, right, okay. Just got to let my vats come back pretty... My action points come back pretty quickly. My action points come back pretty damn quickly. Um, oh, where the hell did you even come from? And where's dog when I actually... Okay, right, right. Oh, he was getting out a gas bomb. He was getting out a gas bomb, that bastard. Okay, these are the moments where I'm very glad that I've got the... Uh, that I'm very glad that I've picked up the... Um, the automatic springs upgrade thingy, whatever. Because if I hadn't, then I'd have just... Do I just find my way here? Wait, hang on. I'm here. I'm in the right place. How did I get here? Oh, flipping heck. I don't know this DLC as well as I should do. Right, yeah, that's the... This is where we need to go. This is where I need to bring dog. Um... Right. Okay, now I just need to figure out how I just got here. Oh, wait, going through that apartment and dropping down did bring me in into a new area. But now I can't... Oh, I really hope this gas main does something good. Because I don't know how to... What did that just remove? What? <laughs> I don't know how to get back out. 
<laughs> oh, because I don't have God or Dog with me. Please tell me that just removed something. Um, this is a concern. I don't know how to get back out again without... Oh, flip. Right, system reset for the ventilation. Has that turned on? Oh, thank God. Okay, good. Good, there was ventilation. Now, I remember there's uh, there's traps here, aren't there? But traps that have been closed. Uh, traps that have been already dealt with, uh, I would assume, because the enemy was stupid enough to run through to try and fight me earlier. Right, dash is secret stash. Come on. Uh, ammo, ammo. 17 microfusion. Bloody hell. Thank you very much, Dean Domino. You absolute bloody star. Right. Okay, good. Okay, I think... I think we're good. Dog, follow me. Dog's... Yeah, lost about half his health. I was getting a bit worried for him then. He can now follow me. We can go through what was the uh, terrifying tunnel. And luckily, because I'm using uh, God rather than Dog, this is pretty easy to do. So, yeah, so we'll just get him here. So, you just stay here and operate the switches. Please. So, let's just go down the nice route with God. Just Let's, let's just tell him I prefer to deal with him. Really? And why is that? So, even though God thinks that Dog can't do it with Intelligence 7, if that diagram over there holds the details, I can walk Dog through the instructions. You think you can figure out what to... Hmm. Of course you can. I'll stand at my post. Once you trigger the event, well, we'll see who makes it to the Sierra Madre. The bell tower. That's where you'll trigger the Gale event. It's a ways up. I'm sure you'll find a way to climb up there. And with that, we've hit level 35, which is actually the worst possible thing that could happen to me. It's at the levels that end in five increments. So now I've hit 35, the ghost people are now just going to get even harder. So maxing out energy weapons, that's an obvious one. Uh, worth maxing out explosives? Is there anything else even remotely useful? Uh, repair maybe ahead of that. Yeah, may as well just get repair. Actually, no. Repair's not going to be that useful to me at the moment. Let's just get explosives up to 90. Not well, that's an annoying number. But all right, never mind. There we go. Does that make any actual positive difference? Hollow Rifle's currently at 85 damage. I think it was already. Um, so I'm not sure I've given myself any advantage there. But never mind, eh? Now, fortunately, I don't have to nip back to the fountain or anything. That's completely unnecessary. Instead, I can go back the... Actually, no, I don't need to go back that way. I can go back exactly the way I just came. Uh, because now I've activated... I don't know how much of the clouds now disappeared. I'd like to think it would actually be quite a bit of it. There's that bit of cloud. Oh, oh, okay. Okay. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, bloody, bloody hell. Right, more ghost people have bloody spawned in. Um, are you still willing to help me, by the way, if I lead a ghost person over to you? Because I might have one I might have one following me right flipping now. Okay, he wasn't able to follow me this far. Uh, it's possible ghost people, same as uh same as anything else, have roaming areas, in which case he can't follow me that far. Okay. That's good. Oh, I'm annoyed I flubbed my best chance to just one-shot that guy. Now there's... Now there's two of them. And one of them's not standing in a good position to be sniped at all when previously he was. Actually, you know what? I'm probably approaching from the wrong angle. Right now I'm approaching here. It looks like there's two guys about here. If I approach from the south, I might be able to swing round into them and get a better shot at the guy who looks like he's standing about there-ish. I'm going to loop round the other way. They're pretty close. Oh, bloody hell. Uh-oh. Oh, we've not got... I thought I deactivated the radios. How can there be a radio in this? That's not fair. Oh. Right. Whether I'm approaching from the south or from the west, in this area, we have collar beeping. Collar beeping that I can't find a console to turn off. I've got two enemies in this area. And I don't know where the safe zone is. Bloody brilliant. The radio is, I think, in a location where, well, it's up at the far side of that bridge, immediately there. The problem is, I don't know whether or not the enemy will see me if I try and sneak to it. I don't know whether they will. Police pistol. Obviously, I don't have a flipping 
a silenced weapon I can use for this. And are we still hidden? I think we are. Okay. No more radio. Good. We're up to... Wow, okay. With all that ammo we picked up, 40. 40. That's pretty damn good for 40 spare ammo for this thing. That's excellent. I need to use a bit more of this, clearly. Right, now, two of them. One of whom's a seeker who I had a perfect shot at when he was flipping standing there, and now I don't. Gotta get a shot at that seeker. Oh, oh, there he is. There he is. Hello. You are dead in one hit because I am an absolute god at sneak attack criticals. Um, I don't know what the other one is. It might also be a seeker, but he's unlikely to be able to come all the way to find me. No. Back to... Hidden, but back to, to caution. Is he going to be one of those people who just ends up permanently in a state of... Yes, I think he is. Right. I think this guy's auto This guy's now permanently freaked out, so we, I think we're just going to have to automatic rifle him. Okay. Where is he? Where are you? Where are you and what are you? More importantly, are you a seeker? If you're a seeker, I'm worried. Trapper! Beautiful. You can't do a thing to me, can you? Oh, but you can run in a weird angle. Uh, yeah, you just keep... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Bad time to reload. Bad time to reload. Bad time to reload. Ooh. <laughs> okay. Good. Yeah, those guys, fortunately, they're the only ones that don't have projectiles. Harvesters have spears. Um, these... Oh, we've got another one. Oh, we have another one. Sorry. Sorry. Hang about. Just wasted three shots to do that. Shouldn't have done that. That was stupid of me. And we have made it to the area that we want to go to next. The Salida del Sol house. So, actually, let's just, first, let's just finish looting first. What have we got in here uh, that's useful, if anything? Uh, status report. That's just law. That's, ooh, tales of a junk town jury something, something, something. Always happy to have barter plus four. The most pointless of all upgrades. Okay, so that is our three people into position. Again, we managed to just, just pull that off without loss this week, which is good. But then you'll probably notice the reason I've been uh, managing to avoid loss is partly because very often I've been flipping, uh, I've been kind of using my companions to help me a little bit. So they've been tanking some of the damage and drawing some of the aggro. I am now going to have to do the hardest bit of the DLC so far and I will not have companions with me. Through that door is the Salida del Sol house. And basically what that means is I now have to go up this whole area by myself. All the way up to here to this little tower at the top in order to trigger the gala event. Which is, and this area is full of enemies I'll be taking on by myself. And then I have to come back down again where there's a whole bunch of new enemies. <laughs> So that is next week, but one thing you may have missed uh, earlier this week, it was our second birthday, it was the second anniversary of uh, Many a True Nerd back at May 27th, that is when our, uh, that's when our channel's kind of video birthday is, oh, happy day. And uh, for that, as is traditional, I did a Cooking with John video, I decided to make a very complicated dessert, the Baked Alaska. And that is, it contains one of my favourite moments in the history of the channel, um, which was completely accidental, which is wonderful. I thoroughly recommend uh, checking that out if you want something to keep yourself entertained while you wait for next week's part of Fallout New Vegas. But in the meantime, I've been John, this has been many a true nerd, and this has been Fallout New Vegas, you only live once with dead money. Thank you very much, and goodbye. Good dodge, good dodge, man. Question is, can you keep it up, cop? Oh, no, you can't. Oh, nice. Oh, didn't quite get that one, though. We are going to the gun store in style. Oh, where's my partner? Oh, he's not here. Oh, so long, loser. <laughs>